It was an opportunity of a lifetime for many, as people around the world took time to look up at the sky to see the transit of Venus today. Why it is significant is because the Earth and Venus do not orbit the Sun on exactly the same plane. And that means that the Venus passes directly between the Earth and the Sun. It happens in pairs. The pairs occur eight years apart. There was a transit of Venus in 2004. There is one today in 2012. There will not be another one until 2117. University of Guam Planetarium Director Pam Eastlick says the last time a pair of transits could be seen was in the late 1800s, as the transits occur more than a hundred years apart. The UOG Planetarium held an event to allow the community to watch as Venus passed between the Earth and the Sun between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. today. What participants saw was a little black dot on the Sun. That is actually the planet Venus, which is between, directly between us and the Sun, and that little teeny tiny dot, which is a planet that is essentially the same size as the one you're on, it's the same size as the Earth, and that little teeny tiny dot is moving across the face of the Sun. Venus is about 8,000 miles across. It is moving across the Sun's face at 75,000 miles an hour, because that's that's how fast Venus orbits, but the sun is 800,000 miles across. Various viewing stations at UOG allowed people to see the event in different ways, or you could also wear the right eyewear to see it for yourself. I also have some solar eclipse glasses and some welder's goggles, and people are going out, and that essentially tells you that what you're seeing is not fake, because people are putting these on, going out, looking at the sun, these glasses are completely safe. They're looking at the sun and going, oh wow, because the image is much smaller than it is projected in the box, but it is in fact, you're actually seeing it. The viewing stations included a telescope set up to project the image of the sun onto a white piece of paper, a reflection from a mirror projected onto a piece of cardboard, and another telescope looking directly at the sun. Eastlick says Ron Govins, Todd Thompson, and Roger Edson helped make viewing the transit possible today by donating telescopes and helping set up the viewing stations. Betsy Brown, PNC News.